really understand this target audience then? Like, how do you even determine what a target audience is? Well, I'm going to dig into some of the tools you might use, the way you might think about this, but really the kind of the emblematic uh, fail here is where, say, an attorney decides that they want to blog and they spend a bunch of money on a blog, and they have a consumer-based practice so that they're talking with everyday people, and yet they put out a blog that is so full of citations and legalese that even lawyers don't want to read it, right? They have a tin ear to what their audience is really looking for. So we'll talk more about that. And then target time. So different types of marketing take a different amount of time, right? So very simply, you can, in, uh, with a bit of research up front, I'll always argue that you do the research as to whether your target audience is seeing any of your marketing, but you can just cut a check for a lot of advertising like that billboard or a radio ad or what have you. On the other hand, uh, the rise, you know, Rich is talking about the demand of a lot of people to interact and, and, and me talking a little bit about these communities. Uh, there are a lot of fantastic free platforms out there, but they require more of your time. And even within social media, I mean, blogging, that takes a lot of time, whereas possibly answering questions online takes less time. There are all sorts of, of channels that you can undertake, both online and offline, that take different amounts of time, but then you have to also tie it into the idea, is it effective for my target audience, right? So we will wrap all of these together, but this, uh, I'm trying to reach my target audience, I have a certain amount of time to do it, but how much am I going to allocate? And then there's this interplay of how much I'm willing to spend versus invest myself into my marketing. Now I will say one thing on the time front. I was chatting with a lawyer last night who was telling me, he said, I have two jobs, right? He said, I'm a lawyer and I run a business. Now I tell many groups that if they're not, as lawyers, if you're not spending 10% of your time on marketing, you're failing, right? Your competition is spending way more time on marketing than that. So I told Bill, he's, he can raise his hand if he's interested in showing himself up, but Bill was saying, I probably spend twice that time in marketing for my practice. But he's very smart, and that he is leveraging down into associates, and he's out there being smart on the front end about bringing the business into the firm. Okay, let's dig into targeting. So for many of you, when you're thinking about who you're marketing ultimately to speak to, you might have more than one target 